So to solve this equation, this ODE rather, we're going to notice that uh, it's actually a homogeneous ODE since there's no functions of t going on. So then we're going to set up our characteristic equation using the coefficients of each of these terms here. That's going to look like 1 times lambda squared plus 6 lambda plus 13 equals 0. And then we're going to find the roots of this expression, which uh, we're just going to end up using the quadratic formula since there's not like an easy factorable thing going on here. So when we set that up, we're going to get that lambda equals negative 6 plus or minus square root of 36 minus 4 times 13 over 2. Now what we immediately notice is that 4 times 13 is definitely bigger than 36, so we're going to end up getting complex roots here. So those complex roots are going to be negative 3 plus or minus 2i. Now I'm not going to bother doing the algebra out because, uh, let's be honest, I'm a math major. I, uh, I hate arithmetic passionately. So I'm going to leave that to you to either do by hand or just throw in a calculator like I did. All right, now using these, these roots, we're going to remember that when we have complex roots, we're going to get something, a solution of the form y of t equals c1 e to the at cosine bt plus 2e to the at sine bt. And those a and b's are going to come from a complex number that looks like a plus or minus bi. And we see that we have that for sure from our calculator or from our very smart brains. So we're going to take that, plug it in, and get our solution, which is going to be c1 e to the negative 3t cosine of 2t plus c2 e to the negative 3t sine 2 And there you go. That's the solution.